guys hello I was working on my app and I needed to create it on two languages on Ukrainian and on English so I was thinking about how what the best way to work with multi-language app and and how to set it up correctly in bubble so let's let's have a look what we will cover today a concept of language variables in bubble uh, what do you need to set it up uh, how to save user language in the database and implement it in ideas so how it's working in real work real applications so uh, the concept is uh, if we go if we go to bubble app right now and you go to your app to your app settings and on the language tab you see that your application primary languages and this uh, four letters and can be four it can be two it's a language code also, you can specify the language field on the user tab. You, for example, my user, I create this uh, language uh, the, uh, that um, field uh, on the user data type. A type you can name it whatever it, whatever you want. Lang language, uh, it, it's up to you. So you and you make it up uh, text. It's important. It's specified here. We'll get back to it later. And then you, you will see you, uh, you have this currently editing messages and text for this language. And for example, if you if you change to English, you will see some some there uh, predefined for you the system system code and other and some I created. What is it? So you, uh, your app have all kind of text uh, for login page, for your main page, for headers and other. And from the beginning, you just using text element, you know, and you write your text in it. But to use multi languages, you need to create for all for each uh, language element, you need to create um, app variable, text variable for. Uh, for your um, you know, to for bubble to understand what kind of text to show in what kind of situation. For example, your user using Ukrainian language in in his uh, browser uh, or English language. And for example, if he from his account settings uh, in later in your app will change language to one or another to change all the text for this language. I will show you. So for example. We will go to my design. You see here, uh, we are now in login page. Let me show you. I I clicked preview to uh, so we can now look at this page. Now it's all in Ukrainian, guys. Uh, small addition to this place of the video. I was my brother was uh, using English language, not Ukrainian. I will show you fast now. Uh, how this uh, changing of language variable works inside the browser. So, for example, my language or browser is now is English. But what will be if I change it to UK Ukrainian language? Now you see all the words changed for Ukrainian language. Uh, so you get a, the idea. Please continue watching. This is because I'm the I defined app text. I call it login. I created myself, and I specified for this text on English what it will show, and for Ukrainian what it will show. How will how you do this? Let's go to another page. Now let's let's me. Let's go here. Uh, you see this word. And for example, I need to create two uh, translation for the uh, for for Ukrainian and for English. It's really important. First, you specify language variable. So you insert dynamic data data. You you add text with this uh, question mark, and uh, it will ask you your text ID. Now you need if if you didn't uh, create it um, in settings before you just specify here 
define as a text. It will ask you for this ID. I always um, um, write it like ID from my primary language to for me to understand what kind of translation I need to use in this uh, in this case. So I'm just write my Ukrainian name. You see here app text and the name of my app text. So now really important. We go to settings. We go to we find this uh, variable I created before. Let me delete this. So you see what we created. Now we specify translation for English and for Ukrainian. So in Ukrainian scenario, it will be like Ukrainian language. On English, it will be English. How we do this here? Really important to, to choose here the correct language, so we so we specify correct translations. Because if you choose Ukrainian and write it in, uh, here in English uh, or like your language, it will show like on the English type of, of browser, it will show the other translation that needed. So here we we, we um, um, edit in English, so we'll just write. And also, uh, before it was just text, but now we specify for our app text. So we need, we can't leave the original text like it was before, because there is no original text. We, we uh, uh, change it for our variable. So the variable have two languages. We will specify also for Ukrainian. We found Ukrainian language. We found our translations and we leave it like it was from the original text. Okay. Nice. So now, for example, if we will go here in our data, we will just Where it is? Mm. We go to our data user. Uh, let's just fastly run so we can check if it's everything is all right. We run as this this user. We just fastly go to. Yeah, we see. Ukrainian language is correct. Let's fast try to change language for English. Okay, yes, you will see language changed. So it's pretty fast way. It's much faster than, for example, to make two languages or to two pages for two languages, to create like one uh, special page for one, for one special language. It can be uh, actually pretty straightforward to do. You can just create all your languages for one, for all your uh, translation for one language, uh, download a CSV file and use some uh, Google translation or other you can find in the in bubble forum there is a way to like bulk edit all your translations at once if you don't if you have like a lot of texts mm. for example I will show you you can here export it you can trans export or all translation or just specify your language and, and export it like this and then like using Excel or something or, or arrow table and use the formulas just translate it like this so the, the last thing for example login page and login page this is the first page after landing page 
uh, that your user used to uh, to look like to to become a user. On loading page, there are it's it's still someone not user. Yes, so guy need uh, um, need to log in or this user need to log in or to sign up. How we specify a language for him? It's easy. I will show you, and it's pretty cool way to do it. So we edit. We go to login first. <clears throat> this um, this plugin, Brazil language A. Brazil language A. It's not plugin. Uh, it's called Brazil language. Just just name of my uh, instance of this plugin. So Brazil language plugin. What it do? It's check the browser of the user and uh, give you information about what local, what language the, the user is using. Now, what I'm, you see, yeah, I'm created two custom workflows. Uh, uh, you see, I created here two workflows for uh, defining the language of the user. Uh, so have a look. When page is loaded, and, and get length from page URL is empty. Why I'm uh, doing like this? Because if I'm delete this, uh, I have the situation where the browser constantly looping, uh, trying to you see, cause my step go to page login and specify the language. If I if I'm um, delete this uh, length from page URL is empty, my uh, the browser will will constantly update, date uh, and and. Um, give like to browser URL, URL uh, uh, this parameter. So I will just specify here this only when it's empty and here also or only when it's empty. So we go to page login the same page. It will not update if it's uh, for example if your user moved once to this page it just give this parameter here. Uh, just just see you know it's, it's from the beginning it, it's also with this parameter already so go to page login and you specify if your browser language language is uh, RU or UK so it's all it uh, of, um, Russian language or it Ukrainian language we go to to login page and give parameter link UK UA if it's language other than UK or uh, Ukrainian and Russian we will go to same page and give the English US for other non-Ukrainian speakers non-Russian speakers we will give uh, language English for others so if your browser for example can be like French language you will get English, if you like, from French browser, from this French language. If it, your browser on Russian language or on Ukrainian, you will get uh, get Ukrainian translation. It's just for this page because we haven't specified. And and really really important. When when your user okay now really important when our new user sign up what we, what we uh, we previously i mentioned we specified this parameter in data in data and uh, user data type so why do we need this because we can we don't need to work always with uh, URL of the browser, yeah? So we just set it once and forget about this and use it to, uh, when we need it. For, for example, if uh, our user later will want to change his language for from Ukrainian to English. So we sign the user up when the, uh, my user is signing up. And the second step we make changed. And what we change? We change the length parameter of, of the user. And what we set to this parameter, we set get length from page URL, you know? So because 
we go to page and set it this parameter then our user push the button to sign up and we just get this parameter from the page URL and set it to lang. So we have saved uh, language uh, parameter in the data type so we can use it so we can just we don't need URL anymore we can use the um, the user data type and language uh, uh, language field to know what kind of language user are using it's, it's pretty nice so I think this is all that uh, we need to cover in this it's pretty straightforward uh, idea. I think you you will get it pretty easily. Just try 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 it yourself. Try to uh, this translation, and uh, look look what we uh, you'll get. If you have any questions, just leave uh, your questions below in the description. Uh, not description in uh, just leave your question uh, in the comments section, and uh, see you in the next video. If you like this video, just leave a like and uh, subscribe to this channel i will try to make as much uh, videos as possible to give you guys information about bubble and building apps and other stuff see you next time bye bye